What up, Internet? This is Crystal Foam Cats, and we're taking a look at a game called Circular Circuloid Brick Breaker HD by these dudes called Mockoscope. All right, and without further ado, um, everybody was hating on this in the like iOS, iPhone, App Store comments. Like, there's a reason Brick Breaker's on a circle, and y'all are lame. This game is really cool. At first, I didn't get it at all, and I couldn't figure out if it was just like completely random or based on time. That's how you die. Uh, I just showed that at the beginning because, actually, I think in all my videos I die at the very beginning. I need to start saying that that's like a part of the spiel or part of like my routine instead of just me being really bad at games. I died again. Ugh. Editing for the loss. Okay, anyways, you are controlling this circuloid brick breaker and they'll start you off at the top, they'll start you at the bottom. I'm only on like level 3 or 4, so take everything that I say with a grain of salt. But this game's pretty cool. There's all kinds of power-ups. Right now I have some burning ball that'll just go straight through, so you've got all like your old brick breaker classics. But it's done in this new way to where you're moving your finger around and right now each one of my pads has like three little separate areas whoa dj mode yes you can just kind of spin it around and play like russian roulette to see if you'll live or not it's kind of fun but yeah on the next level um my top paddles there's only one of them there Whoa! so the power-ups fall and you need to catch those with your paddles too this is pretty innovative people come on like uh on the devs page, it says there's 10 different kinds of power-ups and bonuses, and on the next level, they start adding already these, like, little cool obstructions that make things more challenging, and honestly more fun, and more, like, random and chaotic. And, I don't know, maybe I'm looking for a little chaos in when I play these games. Okay, it's not completely random, though. Uh, for the first couple times that I was playing, I felt like it was just a waiting game, and you just waited for this ball to bounce around. But, check it out. Um... There's angles involved, like, you are pretty much playing pool when you play this game, and eventually you'll start to feel, or get a feel that you can actually control where the ball goes at least a little bit, and then other times it just does the polar opposite, and you're like, oh, I thought it was godly. Uh, the next level adds these little, like, floating dudes, pseudo spoiler alert for like 15 seconds into the future, but they add, like, things that aren't killable, but are floating around and moving. And, I don't know, it's pretty trippy. It's a good little game. Um, the soundtrack is super intense and has like a definite, like, very bassy feel to it, and I like it. It's kind of dubstepy, so, uh, love it or hate it. Okay, some of those things in the middle are those, like, floaty blockers that I was talking about. Uh, well, one of the movement time. Yes. We're cool, we're cool. The anticipation! It's actually really fun. Um, this is only like a dollar or two in the app market. So I say check it out. It's a, a 360 brick breaker where you can do like a spinning DJ move. Game over, people. And I got all these little blicky blockers in the way now. Come on. And power ups. God, all it's missing is something that I could buy. 